Hello, my name is Jan Saraj. Uh, I am a game audio designer. I I worked on this game called Anno Mutationum uh, for the past few years, and it came out a couple months ago. And I never had a chance to play it on on Steam since its launch. I know they made some updates. They made a few bug fixes in here and there. So I never had a chance to play it. So I thought. I can play it and while playing it I can do some commentary on the sound design. Uh this this was obviously a team effort. I didn't do all of the sound. I I was just one of the team members uh of all the sound design that went into this game. So I'll try to talk about whenever I can. I have the knowledge uh about the things that we did in the game. Uh, never done anything like this before, so hopefully it'll come out interesting. But yeah, I I'll just play the game, and if there's some interesting thing to talk about regarding the sound design, I'll try to uh, give my input. And yeah, let's just dive in. So hopefully you can hear my voice and the game in a balanced way. I've never done this before, so uh, just doing it's like a trial run, see how it goes. Uh, I'm playing for the first time as well since it's since all the updates and changes they made. I've also never heard the because we they, they recorded all the voiceovers uh, in the final sprint. I wasn't a part of that as well. So I actually never heard of the English voiceovers, which I'm pretty excited to hear. And um, yeah, just checking the settings real quick. I think everything's okay. Uh, new game. I'll I'll play it on easy just to just so I can ba make better progress. I think it's it's a bit difficult for me as well. I'm not gonna, it's not really about the game, I guess, this video, it's more so I can show like some sounds, things like that. Uh, all, all of the cuts. Container means. entering flight path, requesting aerial unit escort. Air unit mole initiating mission protocol. All of the cutscenes, I, I th did all of the cutscenes. Container removed. Initializing strike. Impact in. Five, four, three, two, one. Target hit. This is one of the longest cutscenes in the game, I think. And I had a lot of fun Rejected. on this. With all the explosion sounds and those... Uh, distorted explosion sounds. I spent a lot of time trying to get that... A little bit like anime feeling. So it's not just like this hyper-realistic explosion sound, but like it has that like... Mm, Japanese style almost. Package for Ann Flores. Check before opening, please. We aren't liable for security risks. I think the voiceover is really, really nice. I'm, I'm hearing it for the first time. It sounds really cool. Uh... Initializing. Loading customized voice. Integrating with user system. Integration complete. You may now use the Pi Pi communication droid. Good morning, darling! It's a beautiful day! Perfect day for a cute skirt! Whoa! Your new toy? Darling, it's our second friend of anniversary gift! Now my voice can accompany you everywhere. Wherever you are, I'll be there too! That's great. 
It's me, so don't lose it. Promise? As long as it doesn't get in the way, I'm gonna shower. <laughs> you can take it in with you. It's waterproof. I'll oh no, you're staying outside. Not to talk over the voiceovers. But um just a few comments here. I I did the the little uh, robot movement around. Mm, so I did like the those little servo sounds, the 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 what do you call it? Like the little openings and it's like idling sound when the the holograph kind of like uh, is next to N and when we when, when our character and interacts with I am uh, that idling sound and every time uh, I am changes uh, uh, the holograph changes I try to add a different so the way I approach that was uh, maybe we'll see it a, l a little bit more in the future as well so she doesn't move she doesn't have animations so every time her mood changes she appears in a different uh different image so what i did was i made like a, a library of sounds for different emotions so i made a bunch of variations for happy ion i made some variations for sad ion some for like surprised just like i don't know six seven different emotions that i needed to cover in this game and I made like a whole bunch of variations for them. So all those sounds you hear every time uh, Ion's appearance change, it's uh, it's just uh, the sound itself was also uh, I thought it was kind of interesting. I used a all of the sounds are actually just uh, originated from uh, water drops. So I you just used a just a regular water drop sound. I didn't record it myself, I found it from a library, I think, but it was just one uh, water drop sound. But I processed it in a way to like make it like this uh, crystallized delay uh, with like a lot of phase on it. So it just, it sounds like this, uh, I don't want to describe it with my mouth, but like we'll see it more in the later parts of the game. So it'll make more sense than I think. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this, this sound I also made, it was like a combination of just like a regular uh, a blind opening, but like I added some servo elements to it just to make it a little bit more cyberpunkish. I think it came out kind of nice. Mm. I really like these little foley sounds like there's no animation for it so you don't necessarily have to cover it but we went through that extra effort to just have those like grab and put it back sounds I didn't record those but like we made the decision together to like let's have those as well just to add a little bit more extra detail <clears throat> This is like a little collectible item. I, I worked on this sound. It was really, really fun to work on these types of UI sounds because there's not really anything you need to match. So it's just about, just you just need to get creative. And I did this sound like in a later stage of the game. So we already had a, I already had a good understanding of what the game was sounding like. So, <clears throat> Uh, it was just like a bunch of experimentation and processing the sounds in weird ways. Uh, oh, this is new. I've never seen this before. We can change outfits. Okay. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, I guess we can move forward. Check mail. I won't. I won't spend too much time like uh, with the story of the game or the gameplay. I'll just keep. I'll play a little bit faster. That's a really nice sound. I didn't do that. <coughs> I 
There's one sound here I, I'm kind of a little bit proud of, like just like one of those pat on the shoulder because also the game designers gave me good feedback so I'm kind of happy about it. There's a moment where the character keeps coming this way and somebody like throws in a computer and the computer falls to the bottom of the building and there's like this very reverberant sound of the computer hitting the ground. I, I think it came out kind of nice. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not a big important sound or anything, but it just adds like a little bit. You can hear the ambience kind of like coming in because we added another emitter over there to have that window uh, play like a little bit more city ambience than compared to when you're here. I designed like a whole bunch of like uh, a small library, I, I, not a library, but like I made maybe six, seven variations of indoor uh, house activities so I think it just randomly generates for each door if you get near to one door you can hear some like random sound sometimes it's like some dogs barking or some someone's watching like an action movie sometimes people fighting something like that maybe it's kind of like low in the mix it could be hard to hear or some of them are just quiet uh, Maybe we can uh, see over here. We can look around. Yeah, here you can hear a little bit. I guess there's some like office ambience I made. It's like a phone ringing, something like that. Not a, not a huge deal, but like when you add those little details, it just for people who catches them, it just adds like a little bit. Uh, I don't know, it feels rewarding to hear those little details, I think. I, I don't know, I call... My, a teacher of mine used to call those, like, little things, small victories. <laughs> I don't know, I... I like them. The... these uh, physical objects, uh, we added them... They had it early on in the game, you can kick these, like, uh, things, but... There was no sound for it, and we actually, it took some effort to make these sounds. Not from a sound design point of view, but like from a technical point of view. Every time we interacted with them, they were making some sound, so props to our technical audio designer for hooking up these sounds. This elevator sound I worked on as well. It's just nothing too complex, just like start loop and uh, yeah, not much to talk about, I guess. Hi, honey. Oh, miss my voice already? Oh, you? I was just uh, testing this thing. <laughs> All right, I've got something more important to attend to. Huh? Like what? <laughs> I'll do this video for like one hour. I think more could be a bit too much. And I don't know if it feels interesting to anyone. I could do a bit more. And because I played the game uh, a lot already while I was working on it. I think this ambience of this location, this city, this city, there's multiple cities in the game, this is one of these cities, and I think it's one of the ones that we worked the most, just getting the ambience feel as, uh, as, as good as possible, creating that cyberpunk atmosphere, 
crowded uh, locations, lots of people walking around. Not just people, lots of robots uh, walking around as well. These futuristic cars passing by, these like PA uh, announcement you hear from the distance, like like that one. Not you can you can't quite tell what they are, but like there's like some dystopian vibe to it. Mm. The cars I I worked on the cars these uh, the cars that passed by around. It was a combination of uh, it took it took a while to get these right. I didn't wanna mm, make it sound too generic. Maybe it came out generic. I don't know, but I I feel like it's okay. It's not it's not too futuristic, but it's at the same time it feels grounded. Like it sounds like it could be a car sound from the future. I don't know. That's the best. I did my best. <laughs> But anyways, it was it was actually a very simple. Uh, I followed a very simple procedure to get these sounds. There's three variations. Uh, I'm, there's small cars, medium cars, and large cars like the truck you may have seen just now. So I only made three uh, loops, I like engine loops for these uh, cars, and they only have two layers, so it's actually a really simple sound. One layer is, I don't know the exact name of that gadget, but like, uh, I'm sure people have seen it around. You kind of like stand on it and you tilt your body forward and you, it goes. I don't know <laughs> if that was a good description. I can't remember the name of it. It's like a transportation device. It works with electricity. But anyways, one of our... Uh, voice actors in the studio had that to get around so she I lent she I borrowed that uh, thing from her and I recorded the that machine's idle sound which is like this very high pitched uh, it's like it has like a high pitched it's a, it's a little bit annoying but it's very recognizable sound so that's one layer and the second layer was I had a fan in my studio while I was working, just a regular fan like you use in summer, and it had three speed, uh, three different speeds, like the slow, medium, and fast. So I recorded those three different speeds, and the fast one ended up becoming the small car, medium one, medium car and the slow one, the large car, because the slow one had like a little bit more weight and the fast one was like really snippy. So I didn't just use the fan sound just as a raw recording. I think I added like some phasing and some chorus just to make it a little bit more sci-fi, more futuristic. And so that, I, that actually was it. So all the sounds you hear are just these two layers. But this, this mechanism, what you see here was like a technical side of the whole thing. They stop uh, when when you get in front of them, and so I, I added a whole bunch of variation. I created a whole bunch of start and stop sounds for every those three different uh, car sizes. So they all they also each had their honks. So if you stop in front of them they'll stop for you and it'll play the stop, it'll play the honk after a while until you move and the ones behind and then you move away and it starts going I think it can, it, it's kind of cool it doesn't really affect the gameplay but it's like for me it adds to the game the attention to detail people people who play the game I think appreciate small efforts like this Anyways, I'm maybe dwelling too long on small stuff. Um, I think I'm supposed to go this way. The bookstore. Mm. I really like the 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 the, 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 the word. The letters appearing sound, I think it fits really nice 
I I'm not the one who worked on that, but I'm really uh, happy how it came out. It's really nice, I think. So I I can't comment on how it's made, what was the process behind it, but I'm I'm glad whoever did it did it the way it did. It's really nice. Sorry, I'm just gonna skip the the uh, story elements a little bit. But anyways, maybe I can talk a little bit about the ambience more. Mm, depending on your location. This is not something revolutionary, obviously, but depending on your location, we have like different layers uh, of traffic sound, uh, walla sound of like people talking, footsteps sound, uh, like a city rumble, traffic rumble. So depending on your location in the city, we kind of like move between those layers. Yeah, I guess that's about it, that's all I can say, so... It, but like, we also have these like 3D sounds that are like, like the tree winds, the tree leaves rustling in the wind. But at the same time, like these uh, spot BG carbides that you hear in the distance, not specifically tied to anything, but like, you hear them in the distance. Car siren, police sirens, etc, things like that. It sounds like a full and living city, in my opinion. I think it it came out nice. is back there but hi I worked on the ambience of this store. Uh, added like a whole bunch of these quirky uh, sci-fi sounds, but then we thought it wasn't enough, and I think another member added these like separate video game sounds, which I think ended up enhancing the location. So you can hear these like retro gaming sounds. I think it turned out really nice. Hey. Security system costs a fortune. Time to part some more fools from their money. Oh, hey, look who dropped by. Just in time to test the new system. I'll try to talk more about the sounds, uh, so I'll just quickly go through these. Agree. 
So here we're gonna do the little combat tutorial section. Use the Grom system to switch to your combat suit first. It was a really interesting project to work on for me. Uh, Alan? Nothing here but empty space. <laughs> this little bit of Alan? Been, I'm here! <laughs> Sorry, I was updating the local client. It's still loading. Just a sec. <sighs> I upgraded the system. Any new functions? Of course. I added a new defense system plus data collection. And you know that have a bit control panel. Always reminded me That's of great. That okay. scene in Let's the first started. Matrix movie. Uh, Doc? It's Your really nice. supercomputer is lagging out? Just wait. Update complete. Wait, I need to delete some redundant files. Thanks for waiting, Flores. How's the new system? How about we give this baby a test run? I need to gather some data. composers who work on this game. I think the soundtrack is super, super cool. Now the little combat section begins. We made tons of iteration on the weapon sounds. Obviously, it's normal just to get it right. Uh, I made that little, uh, little bit of the charging sound. My approach was using like a. It's called a shepherd stone. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with. It. So you can. Uh, charge it and it always oh sorry it always sounds like uh, the the sound is as ascending so it's like a, a musical trick you lay down a bunch of layers of sound and it'll always it's like a trick and it'll create the illusion that the sound is always rising. R2. R2. What's next? Just one more test. Let's start. This time the combat simulation should be fine. I'm using the latest data for your targets. Hmm. They seem different. All right. Ready when you are. Maybe I can. Sorry for the composers. I was just complimenting them, but maybe I can turn down the music a little bit, uh, just so I can. It's easier to hear my voice in the recording later on. Combat uh, uh, How do I go about it? 
we have like a one single container that is dedicated to enemies being hit and we have many many different uh, variation not variations like a switch switch container that has uh, different materials of enemies like metal fleshy um, or like a different types of metal, different types of fleshy mm. but also different intensities for different weapons you have a uh, dude playing the combat and commenting on it is harder than I thought actually so. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we have a uh, we have a system like that for enemy, but we also have a system for and getting hurt by different enemy types, different enemy types. What the? Go on, go on, give it your best shot for us. I didn't work on this uh, enemy, but I know this was also had a lot of iteration because it, it changed its appearance uh, many times over the over the development, and now it's in this like, glitchy state. So before it wasn't. Before it was just like this regular. Uh, dragon like enemy so we had like sounds for those but now it's this like glitchy version of it so we actually use the original recording not recording original sound design we made and turned them into like glitchy versions of that i worked on this little cutscene where the dragon gets stuck and her machine is glitching and she comes back to the reality. So I wanted to make that little transition of her like kind of freaking out and her brain like overloading with these uh, machines and... Is the hippocampal like, formation data okay? Yes, just make sure the third test is done properly and doesn't get delayed. I added these sounds so like it's... it creates this like illusion that this machine is... Uh, moving around your head. I don't know if it comes through as I intended, but that was my intention. Mm. What's up, Nakamura? Come here first. I'll tell you more later. Sure. On my way. I really like the voiceover. I'm not familiar with who are the voice actors, but... Uh... Ayane, I need to pay a visit to my sister. Okay, say hi to her for me! Okay. It came out really nice. By the way, how are you recovering? Don't worry. My butler has been taking good care of me. I gotta log off now. I'm familiar. I'm familiar with the Chinese voice actors because I work with them. I know them really closely. They're super nice people, and the Chinese voiceover also sounds really good. I heard the Chinese voiceover many times, but yeah, I'm gonna play with the English version just so I can. Uh, I guess my audience, who will watch this, won't be Chinese speaking people take off 
I worked on the car of I, uh, and uh, we don't drive it in the game. Like we don't do an actual driving. Uh, we only have these transition cutscene clips uh, where she travels from different locations. So I spent quite a bit of time just to make her car feel a little bit more interesting than the other generic cars, just to have a bit more character. Uh, it's yeah, it's difficult to make these sci-fi cars, in my experience, I, I think at least, because it's it it's it's easy in a way to make them sound futuristic and like space spaceship-like, like Star Warsy or whatever, but. You also want to create some kind of uh, futuristic sound that uh, feels more original to you. Something like something went from you. You don't want to make it sound just like another generic car. Uh, I don't know. I did my best um, to achieve that, but I think it's really hard, in my opinion, to make a very original futuristic car sound at this point because a lot of people have like some idea about how it should sound like so you can't really drift off from that idea it might come off uh, not wrong but like just weird so um, there are certain limitations you might have to uh, put upon yourself while you're designing the sound but yeah I designed the ambience of this location, the rain, the thunders, and um, yeah, it sounds nice. I think I used an original recording for the rain that I recorded in Shanghai somewhere. It, it feels nice when you hear, like, an, like, because you know the location you recorded the sound, but you hear it in this uh, virtual location, so it feels like kind of weird to hear it in a different location even though it's virtual but at the same time it feels nice that uh i don't know yeah that's just a little bit commentary there <coughs> we have to go inside here I'm not 100% sure, but I can do a little bit music input here. I think we were debating, not we, but I didn't do the implementation of the music, but we were discussing an idea about he wanted to, our composer, Hollow Week, he wanted to design a system where he wanted to create some snippets of these jazz uh, jazz uh, riffs almost in a that pl I can play in a random not random but like in some kind of system I don't know if that ended up becoming uh, uh, part of the game but that was something we were discussing I really like the music here in this bar it's like like it has this nice fusion of it sounds jazzy, like some kind of jazz bar, but it also has like futuristic vibe. It sounds really nice, in my opinion. <laughs> Here we play a little mini game. Uh, of a uh, little bartending. stuff like this we made sure uh, just like as detail like when you come here you can kind of hear the music continuing but it's like filtered out so I don't know adds a bit of like immersion to the soundtrack of the game the overall soundtrack it's like it's like nice and quiet here behind the bar but it's like uh, bleeding inside
how I'm supposed to change into the bartender uniform. I can't remember how to play this. Uh, oh, three blues. Okay. It's, uh, okay. I wasted so much time. Uh, I made these sounds. Uh, I'm, I'm terrible at this. Wait. This, this, and this. I tried to make some realistic sounds with the uh, drinks pouring and shaking and stirring and that kind of stuff. But at the same time, I added these like mini gamey, again like anime, anime ish. Ah. Ah. Anime ish sounds. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, talking and playing is really. <laughs> I, I did a terrible job. Patience is the key to success. <laughs> You'll get it. Thanks. Mm, yeah. Anyways, I was just saying, <laughs> I did like realistic this drink mixing and pouring and shaking, stirring sounds, but added these like little stingers in between to make it feel like it's it's a game. I don't know. Yes, 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 yes. Hello. Can I get you anything? You must be Anne Flores. Uh, yes, that's my name. Can I help you? My, how you've grown. Your eyes are quite fascinating. Like a pair of azure gems. <laughs> okay. If you don't need anything, I'll get back to work. Your entangleitis is getting worse, is it not? Oh, don't worry. Your fate will help you solve it. How do you... <coughs> Where's the kid? Bring him to me now! Hey, what are you yelling about? Where is he? Here we have another little combat section coming up. What are you talking about? And... The gangster. Can you stop it with the screaming? Notice everyone else? Where's Ryan? Bring him to us! Sis. Leave this to me. Gentlemen, this way. <laughs> what do you want with Ryan? The boss sent us to get him. Listen up. Ryan is our... Just tell us where he is. Uh, brother. Just for context. Girly, I ain't asking. Scan hold LT to scan enemy. We also have a little basic system of ducking where in the moment of impact, uh, in the moment of impact, when you hit the enemy, it kind of like ducks but, 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 a lot of the right. sounds, oh, gotta... including your attacking sounds, any other special 
skills or <laughs> if there's any ambience they all like duck down momentarily just to make room for the transient of the hit sound so it it sounds a little bit more impactful and it kind of like cuts through just just for like a brief moment but then everything comes back so you don't notice anything any like volume going up and down because that's like the thing you need to avoid there shouldn't be anything noticeable but yeah i think the impact sound ended up becoming nice and punchy and it feels satisfying to beat up the enemies which which is really important in an action action game like this one <coughs> Good thing Ryan wasn't here. And better find him before others do. I'll talk to Nakamura first. Hi. I could be missing some stuff some interesting sounds we did. Uh, I'm playing kind of fast, uh, so yeah, I'll just, I'm just playing kind of fast, uh, talk about the things that uh, remind me of how I did what I did. Uh, it's also like a long time ago, some of these sounds, because this game wasn't development for more than four years I was involved with it for about three years but I haven't been involved with it for well, I didn't do something I haven't been involved with this game I guess the lady left in a few months now uh, it didn't save <laughs> yeah when I was working on this there was no voiceover, so it was kind of awkward. But now Dad. it feels nicer. Warn me before you drop by next time. Let an old man get ready. The robotic voice is cool. I like it. Going to knock this city. Huh? Why not stay with your family a bit longer? No, I need to find Ryan. I think this is where I'll stop it. Um, yeah, let's uh, let me change with the camera. Right. Uh, yeah, I hope that was interesting to the fans of the game or anyone that was interested in the sound design of uh, of a game and uh, yeah if if people if there's anyone that wants me to keep going i'll save the game here and i'll continue uh do another part but yeah i hope that was cool and interesting and see you next time bye bye